Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily save sharp images for social media and for web in Photoshop. So usually after doing a very nice job retouching and retaining these nice and beautiful details in our images, we want to save it and we don't want to spoil it while saving it in Photoshop. So this is a tutorial that is going to help you save sharp images. And not only sharp images but also photos that won't change in color when you post them on web or social media so if i totally find this video helpful i request that you hit the like button because when you hit the like button it helps the video perform better better and even suggested to more people out there so just make a point that you hit the like button if i told you find it helpful so right now this is what we have and i'm going to be showing you two different ways for how to save your images and it is upon you to choose the best way and most preferred way to save your images because both do the same thing at the end of the day so i'm just going to come right here to file and come down to export and come to save for web legacy if i told you have other versions of photoshop this option may be found right around here so i'm just going to come to file export and come to save for web legacy and it's going to open up the save for web legacy window so make sure you feed in these settings so make sure you come to optimize right here and right in this preview if i told you zoom out by using control command minus to zoom out you can see that the image is in this kind of preview window so make sure you come right here and select the format i prefer to save in jpeg because this is supported by most social media platforms and also i prefer to save it to the maximum the reason for this is because i want the maximum quality out of the image and as you can see quality is going to be at 100 percent so i make sure i check this optimized option and also embed the color profile so when you do this and also check this option which says convert to srgb so ticking these three options it means that photoshop is going to automatically embed the colors into your photo so it won't change in color when you post it on social media so when you do that you can as well come and add some copyright information if at all you really wish to so after that there is another option down here which says quality so when it comes to quality come and make sure you select by cubic sharper so what this helps to do photoshop is going to sharpen your image for screen yeah remember when you're exporting images for web we want them to look sharper to a person that is going to look at them so we want the image to appear a little bit sharper on the device of a person that is going to be looking at it at the end of the day so after doing or setting this right just come right here and press on the save option right down here don't click on done just come to save and your image is going to all photoshop is going to pop up where you want to save your image right here and you can see you can choose a folder where you want to save your image and after that you can just come and press save and your image is going to be saved so this is the first way in order to or in which you can save your images that are going to look sharper at the end of the day with no color change issues and how to save for web and social media in general so the second method is going to be relatively the same with the same settings but it's going to be a slightly different approach we're just going to come right here to file export and you're going to come to export as right here so when you come to export as it's going to bring up another export as window within our photoshop and right now we're just going to this slightly takes a longer time trying to load the preview but as he's loading the preview let's go through the quick settings for this export as window so with the file settings make sure the format you select jpeg and the image size i usually don't tamper with image size right here because i leave it in its default so resample make sure the resample is by cubic sharper remember 
Photoshop is going to sharpen the image for screen and the person that is going to look at it. So Photoshop adds a little bit of natural sharpening to the image when you select this bicubic sharper option. So usually we want to add, you can as well add your copyright or copyright information and embed it within your image by selecting this option. So when it comes to color space, you have to make sure you check this convert to sRGB and also embed the color profile like we had in the same the first technique. In this, you also have to take to tick or check these options. So Photoshop is going to automatically embed in those colors that you applied while color grading or doing color adjustments to the pixels of your photos. And after that, just come right here to export. So when you click on export, you can choose or rename the image if at all you really wish to. Or you can as well choose a location where you want to uh, save your image. And after doing that, you can just come and press on save and your image is going to be saved. So if at all you'd love to export or post a sharp image at the end of the day, for example, on Facebook or Instagram itself, always make sure to go to the settings or the data settings of either your Facebook or your Instagram. So after exporting it, you want a very sharp image to be posted. So if I told you using a phone, just go to maybe Facebook, then you go to the media settings and make sure you put on everything to high quality or high definition uploads and for both photos and videos and do the same for also your Instagram app or you can as well post on Instagram by using uh, your computer by just going to your Google Chrome and typing in everything and you're going to si sign in and log in on Instagram. So I prefer to post on Instagram using uh, my browser or web browser and I prefer to use Chrome and that is not going to compress your image when you post it on social media at the end of the day. So these are the two ways in which you can save sharp images and post them for web or social media and if i told you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating